Just found out my friend's 4 million ARR startup has been using their Superbase private service role key instead of their public key on the front end for months. They even passed their SOC 2 compliance with it exposed. Guys, look, I love Superbase. It is a great product. I've talked about it extensively. I build with it all the time. I think it is the best way to work with Postgres in 2024. I think Neon is making some good strides, but from everything I've used, the local experience is great. Superbase is great. But their client SDK is a bait. Please, for the love of God, stop using it. It is going to just keep causing things like this. It seems like such a good idea on paper, but anytime you publicly expose your database through an API or something like that, and then the only security in front of it is some sort of like rules system, like Firebase rules or RLS and Superbase or whatever, it is going to end up biting you in the ass. I promise. I have tried to use this in a real project. That's why I am so strongly against it because on paper, it sounds like such a nice way of doing it, especially for mobile apps. And that's how these things are often pitched. I think um, back in the day, I remember Firebase often being pitched as the best mobile app backend because you don't have to be a backend dev to get backend functionality in your mobile app. That's sort of the pitch. And I think Superbase had that for a while. I think they have gotten more and more server side. Obviously I'm not an insider at their company. I don't have any idea what their plans are, but just from the outside, it does feel like they're doing, they're accepting and embracing the server and stuff like that more and more. Um, you can see like, if you look at their authentication documentation, they've added in new sections for like Next.js and SvelteKit and how to do server side off. Uh, you know, their support for Drizzle is really good. The um, experience for developing a real sort of backend, just using it as a Postgres instance is getting better and better. I think that they're moving in the right direction, but initially it was sort of pitched as you have this client side SDK and you can communicate with your database directly on the front end. And then the way that's secured is with row level security, which is basically just a bunch of policies that define whether or not a user can successfully make a SQL query. So we created a policy here, like in their docs that individuals can view their own to do's. It'll say that whenever we do a select statement in the to-dos table, we're going to go ahead and check that the auth.uid is equal to the user's ID so that the user can only select their tables. And on paper, this seems really nice. This is a really simple way of going through and saying, okay, you can only read your own stuff. We secure that one table that way, and then we can go ahead and just read it from our front end. We don't have to worry about spinning up a server on the back end. It just works. And the problem with this is that real applications and real databases are never that simple. The project that I tried to use this architecture on was Block. And right now, I think we have something like 20 tables, and that's tame compared to most real applications. All of those tables have tons of stuff on them. There are a lot of very complicated relationships in there because we need to get all of the events working. We need to link those to people. You, I mean, you just have the stuff that you would have in some social media like thing. It's just a fairly complex data model because it has to be. And getting that to work with row level security would be a living hell. I tried to kind of do it. I tried to see how it would work and it, it just makes no sense because when you want to do stuff like private profiles, when you want to deal with stuff like relations and owners and all these different things, it just gets so unwieldy and it's so easy to just let one little thing slip through and then your entire app falls apart. It just isn't feasible. And if you want even more proof that these direct access databases as a service things are not a good idea, go watch this video. My browser got hacked and it cost me two grand by Theo, where he talks about how Arc, the browser I'm using right now, got hacked. And that hack was almost entirely because of Firebase. Eva was responsible for the hack and the entire thing was caused by insufficient security rules. I won't go into detail on what actually happened because that video already exists. But point being, these systems are not particularly secure and it's very difficult to do them right. And at the end of the day, just use a real backend. Superbase works great with it and you will save yourself a huge amount of pain. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I will talk to you later.